Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have some updates on the eruption situation and what's been going on all around. Now, this just in, the Blue Lagoon is now temporarily closed until December 27. So we're looking at just about a week of closure. They had just opened up two days ago, I believe, you know, allowing buses to come in. People enjoy the Blue Lagoon, but now, of course, due to the eruption that occurred you know, the evening of December 18th, which was last night, they have now had to reassess the situation and, of course, close again. The Grin Grindavik residents, it doesn't look like they're going to be going home for Christmas either. Although recent data from the Icelandic Meteorological Office suggests that a reduction in the intensity of the vo volcanic eruption is suggesting that it's stabilizing. But again, if you're going to the Blue Lagoon, it is closed. So, um... Yeah, they're going to be contacting you if you have some bookings over the next couple of days or if you're looking to go. Good alternative is, of course, the Sky Lagoon in Reykjavik. Well, Kobovogur, but in Reykjavik area. Now, the power of the eruption continues to decrease and lava flow is roughly estimated at one quarter of what it was in the start and one third of the original crack is active. Now, magma plumes are also lower, but at the beginning at the of the eruption, about 30 meters where they reached the highest. Now, these numbers are visual evaluation from a survey flight, uh, but of, of course, they don't have like a meter stick out there. Uh, and another measurement flight is scheduled um, earlier today where they're going to get a clear picture of what's been going on in the activity, and that news has not come out as of yet. Now, the evolution of the eruption is similar to the volcanic eruption at Fagrasfelt, which, you know, we've been seeing these eruptions going on for quite some time, you know, year after year for the past couple of years. Um, and this is similar to those where the fissures have started to shrink and form a single sort of eruption at this single point. And at this point, there are about five sort of openings that are scattered about the original crack. Now, according to information from the scientists who went on the Coast Guard's helicopter tour and, and well, flight around four o'clock in the morning, um, they had a total duration uh, sort of view of the eruption zone, and they're saying that not much had changed since the beginning. There was a little activity in the southern end of the fissure at Hagafat, and the largest lava flow is looking towards the east to Fagrasfelt. And you can see uh, here is from ISI, and you can see that it was done, uh, you know, three in the morning or something like that, so right after the eruption. Um, now, of course, there's still some risk of this um, area sort of to the right coming down and sort of moving down towards Grindavik, down this corridor here, and uh, a little bit of a chance of, of the Blue Lagoon. You can see here it's going to the uh, sort of the sides of this image here. And if it does, we have fortifications, as you can see in the eye side, just around the Blue Lagoon here. Uh, but this lava can, of course, go down through this valley. But it's going to take a little bit to go over these hills. Now, today, the gases and the plumes from all of this is coming from the west and the northwest directions. Gas pollution is likely being felt in Westman Islands today, but not really anywhere else. Now, according to the forecast, though, tomorrow or even later tonight but t tomorrow they're saying that the wind will shift and the Reykjavik area will notice a higher concentration of uh, gas pollution now new work is also being done uh, to look at the hazard area new assessments and things like that and that's going to be coming out later today so i'll be sure to keep that updated but uh yeah biggest stories right now over the past couple hours is blue lagoons closed again and uh, the fissure is, of course, you can see here all these lines of where the openings are, according to uh, the meteorological agency here in Iceland. So that's everything up to date over the past couple hours. I hope you are uh, enjoying these quick updates. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.